Well, hello there, you wonderful humans. And welcome back, or welcome, I should say, to King of the Castle. A brand new game I found on uh, on Steam, released yesterday, believe it or not. It's a game where I get to be king, and my job as king is to make sure the throne is handed down to my beloved children. And it is your job to either help that effort or usurp the throne and destroy my lineage. So we're going to start a new dynasty. Uh, you can connect your Twitch accounts and things like that. Um, there's only a Twitch integration for us to be able to fully integrate the entire community at once. But I figured we can do it this way and you can actually interact through web browser. So we're going to do a new dynasty. I don't know how this works. So if we go back, I just need to, yeah, we're gonna do a new dynasty. We're gonna call it Monarch Name. Wait, what's a Monarch Name? Thick, uh, and then the McThickums Dynasty, I guess? Mc, McThickums Dynasty. Um, there we go. And we can begin. Now, all you need is access to a web browser and we can get 24 people to be able to play along with us. Oh, the microphone's popping. Well, butter my nipples. <laughs> now, my original plan was to provide only access to gold tier members for this first one. So I think I need to... I need to hide the game for a second and at least let them join first because I think it's going to show the code right away. Um, so I'm going to go into the gold lobby in the members discord if you're not there. Um, make sure to open up discord. I'm going to send the code in there now. 24 people can play along. You can help or destroy my dynasty and we'll open it up to the general stream. All sorts of stuff like that. But uh, let's see here. Can I turn my mic, my camera on for a moment? No signal? We'll just leave it like this for a second. All right, so party game, select, continue. There we go. Ooh, I can show this. So we have Barons of the March. The Barons are brash rural lords famous for their belligerence and fondness for hunting. Huzzah! The chiefs are honorable warriors renowned for their pagan religion and prowess in combat. The counts are ruthless aristocrats steeped in secrecy. Allegations of forbidden rituals are unproven. The grandes, the grandees of the South, are impassioned duelists known for the strict adherence to honor, etiquette, and the Ninth God. And the patricians are wealthy seafaring merchants noted for their cleverness, skill, and negotiation in ornate masks. I'm gonna go with the grandees of the South, I think is my first one. All right, let's make sure we pop back here just in case. Uh, begin. Uh, begin. How do I begin? Oh, I gotta choose three regions. I can choose three. Let's do Counts of the East, Grandies of the South. And we'll just do these last three. That sounds pretty cool. All right, and we can make a server. And then people get to join each of these re regions. So it seems really, really cool. If y'all do enjoy this and you want more, Slap the like button, fondle it a little bit, show it some love. Let the YouTube algorithm know you want more. All right, so your nobles may now join the game. Um, I will put post a link to join the game. Go to www.kotc.app. Is it free? Yes, it is free. All right, um, I'm going to post this in Discord real quick. <clears throat> That's very one. Gold members are going to get first access, and then I will open it up to uh, general population in a moment. Oh, there's a show button. Nice. All right, so there's a show button. And then I gotta show that real quick. Code. 
There we go. And people can set up their accounts and stuff now. And they'll be able to play along. And all you need is access to a web browser. So you can do it on your phone, tablet, but I don't know. I honestly thought you said Grannies of the South. Yeah. What's wrong with Grannies being in the South? That's where you retire, right? So 24 people can join. I opened it up to gold tier members first. Yeah. Will you share the code here? I will after I share it on the members discord. Members have first access. Tiffany, what did it do? How are you wonderful being? Claire, thank you for the 31 months. We got Cupcake and Raven, hell yeah. Is this like Jackbox, but medieval? Kind of. I have no idea. All right. I'm gonna put this in general chat for next. And then I'm gonna give it to everybody. Tag, got any more of that whiskey from yesterday? And if so, will you share? Today's been a day. Cheers to you, Ashley. I hope your day gets better. <clears throat> Cheers indeed. All right, we're almost full up. All right. Last few spots, I'm opening it up so you can try and, uh... King Thruk has deemed it's okay for you to try and join at your leisure. Get your booties in. This music is a bop. Oh, hell yeah. All right, here we go. I sent you some pics of GameCube joy -Con Oh, Tiffany, I saw. Oh, I saw. I saw. <laughs> I was like, that's so freaking cool, but I forgot to respond. I'm literally the worst. All right, we've got eight, eight, and eight. Now, the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. You can help me and help my lineage keep the throne, or you can try and usurp the throne. It's completely up to you. I don't know what's gonna happen during this, but we'll find out together. Oh, okay, that's a lot of reading. All right, so we have uh, Kings of the Castle Brimer doing the work in Lurk, looking forward to being able to catch the live stream today. Monarch winning, acquire an heir. So I have to make a baby. I have to find uh, him or her and put a baby in it. And then, uh, so complete your ambition to win. Your first reign will likely end in disaster. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Keep an eye on the rain's schemes. If they pass all their stages, they'll win the game. You motherless goats. Bummer, I missed it. There'll be more. Be careful of the region's defiance stat. If it gets too high, the regions may rebel against you. And conspiracy, nobles winning. To win, pass all three stages of your scheme. Each stage requires you to get stats to certain levels, which are affected in votes. And nobles voting, how you vote is up to you, for your region's scheme to stop other schemes, or for the good of the kingdom. In the noble rebellions, if your defiance stat is high enough, you can rebel. This pauses your scheme, and is risky, especially if you have low military. Alright, you dirty little motherless goats, let's go. Each season you'll get three events to play, click on one to get started. Alright, so I have Authority 5, Treasury 3000, and Stability 5. We got Farming, so we got Counts, Grandies, and Patriarchs. Each have their own- Ooh, Grandies have high faith. King McThickums! At your leisure. Pleasure? Mm. Alright, so we have the Council Introduction. This is your monarch, the main player's character. They'll appear in most stories, but not all. Uh, these are the kingdom stats. If any one of them are zero at the start of a season, the game will end. Oh my god. Okay. 
These are region stats, stats determine which events are generated. If defiance is high, then both authority and stability a region can trigger a rebellion. This will pause the scheme, okay. You can scroll through the full list of nobles and their wealth here. Oh my god. Who's gonna be the richest noble? Now that you're the king. Your first duty is to meet with the Council of Neighbors. Yes. Your nobles hail from all across the kingdom. The desolate east, the wealthy coast, and of course, the scorching south. Um, I'm gonna introduce myself to the grandees. Now, Counts of the East, the money baby. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your majesty. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessors. Wow. Okay. Uh, premium nobles. This is a player who has bought King of the Castle. They can set their customizations, get access to special outfits, and appear more often in storylines. What? Apparently, if you've bought the game, you can link it and you could appear more in stories. Wow. It's Lady Patrician Raven. Well... Read 100 day challenge. You're killing me, Smalls. Uh, I will pay at this point. Wait, what? Re Red Dead. Oh, Red Dead one. <laughs> Red Dead 100. I got you, fam. I got you. Don't you worry. May the ninth God. Oh, this is Reese's Pieces. May the ninth God bless your reign, your holiness. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith. I don't know. Jatina, what is this? This is, uh, I have no idea. It's going to be interesting. No idea. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices, and the nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. All right, so we've got the east, the capital, the coast. We have the path to victory. So this is the map. I think we just gotta go through these first few things here. I'm going to do everything in my power to mess you up. Screw you, Hope! Your Majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Should I be given the orders now? Yes. Of course, Your Majesty, but to delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. Wow! Uh, they wouldn't dare. Very well, what must I do? As is tradition, the council will decide what happens to your coronation. What? But it's my coronation! This isn't an absolute monarchy, your majesty. Everything has to be run past the council vote. Even this. Shall we call the nobles in? Oh, lord! Oh, no! Oh, I swear to god. If y'all screw me right off the bat, certain choices will change stats. Some choices... Uh, that do so will indicate this change here. Oh my god. Okay. Not all choices. Perfect. Fantastic. These are the upcoming choices your nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. The monarch can change how a vote is run with a law. Ooh. You may use one law per vote. Try using your veto at one point, uh, at one option you dislike. When the vote opens, nobles vote on which choices they want in the browser. Oh my god. How dare you blame us for poor <laughs> choices? Oh god. Uh, the monarch may close the vote at any time after all nobles have voted or the time hits zero. Okay. Holy Jesus. <clears throat> Alright, so how does this work? Set laws for voting. What kind of coronation should be held for the new king? So we got host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. This reduces our treasury, but increases our stability. Now this y'all get to vote on. Proceed with a religious ceremony that honors the ninth God. This gives us faith and then throw the king into the river. I swear to God. I swear if you throw me into the river, I will ban each and every one of you. I can see your names. Outdated tradition, there's no need for a coronation at all. Uh, the monarch can mark their preferred voting option. And veto. The monarch can take a voting option off the table. Ugh. Alright, so... I would like... 
I would like to not be thrown off the river. I'm gonna go for B. I would like B. Let's see what happens. Christ. I swear to God. I can see who votes! You mother- uh, Studs, Hope, Lou, Ironwood, Nana, I swear to God. Oh. <laughs> oh, you think there's not gonna be repercussions? <laughs> you think you're gonna get away with this? I hope you can swim. Oh my god, they're draining my treasury! Host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. Negative a thousand gold. I would have rather been thrown in the freaking river. We want a party, clearly. Ten nobles voted. Oh my god, okay. Well, there goes some of our money. So we got stability increase, but we lost a thousand gold. Ugh. The coronation is a great success. Jugglers, wine, fireworks, and feasts. It has an impact on your treasury, of course, but what doesn't? Hmm. Okay. That was a little rough. Can you get thrown into a river of wine? That'd be nice. And Nana, thank you for the seven months. Heir and ambition. The monarch must acquire an heir and complete their ambitions to win the game. A spouse is useful, but not necessary. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put a baby in something. Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you. Or before you lose all authority and treasury. Wow, okay. So, I gotta make a baby. I can see you. There will be repercussions. <laughs> oh my god, defiance is only at one so far. Your majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. You're new and unproven. Your nobles of the council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. Those fools couldn't scheme their way out of a paper bag. Better kings than you have been toppled by their treacherous nobles, your majesty. To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown. My question is this. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Whoa! So, conqueror. So that's a goal of military. Peacekeeper stability. As the father of the nation. As the great king who- As the greatest king who ever lived! <laughs> I see. You're the type who likes to build lots of statues of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving your authority as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck. <clears throat> now that you've played all events, advance the game by clicking End Season. Okay. Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected schemes. Schemes are made up of three stages with specific stat requirements. I don't get to know what these are. Passing all three scheme stages places the region's claimant on the throne, winning the freaking game. Ugh. This is interesting. I don't know. What do you all think? A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the South. This is a stain on our honor and we must not... Allow it to go unanswered. Oh! I get to see. Mm. Oh, do I not get to see? There's subterfuge, doppelganger, and fervor. But I don't get to see who's voting on what. Oh, maybe I do. Get your votes on. You got 11 seconds. Lord hath mercy on my soul. I think we lost a noble. I don't know who it was. Oh, you can't vote. I think I'm purple. Yeah, so it's all the oranges or yellows. Ooh, it's a tie. I feel like we need to discuss this. The Grandi claimant Sabino has been chosen by the ninth god to be the next king. He has promised a first miracle. Food for all. 
To advance their scheme, the grandees must raise their farming to five or more in four seasons. Hmm. All right, then we got the freaking counts. My fellow counts, in ancient times, this is Varenica, the east was its proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false king Thurk wears the crown. We've got blood ritual, ascension, and possession. So you purple people out there, you dirty little vampire purple people, vote on your schemes right now. <laughs> Bad blood. Of course they're going for blood ritual. Of course! Wow. Five for a blood ritual. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Alright, the Count's plan to summon an ancient famine demon that will devastate all other regions, paving a clear path to the throne. First, they must ensure the East can withstand a famine. Wow, okay. To advance their scheme, the Counts must uh, have, the, have the region with the highest farming in four seasons. <whistles> and then we've got the Patricians. This is Justine! Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of King Thurk. Something must be done. Oh, they've got intimidation, monopoly, and corruption. Vote, green people, vote. Vote like you've never voted before. We're gonna have a lot of starving people. Uh, Jatina, it is in the top right corner. Uh, room code Blez. Although I am posting it in the gold members discord uh, first for each game and then to the general discord and then to the stream. Oh, gold, raise own trade, freaking Monopoly. Okay, we're playing Monopoly now. Continue. The patricians may plan to in to privatize this entire dang kingdom. First, they must build up their industry. To advance this scheme, the patricians must raise the trade to five or more in four seasons. It's at four! No, it's at seven! What? Is seven good or is seven bad? It's at seven! Hey everyone, I hope you had a great day. Just found out my magic card app died, so now we're resorting to rescanning all of them. Oh my god, J.O., I have to do the same thing. Years of collecting down the drain. Which means I have to take the cards out, I have to scan them, I have to count them again. I'd rather die. All three already completed their first scheme. I don't like this at all. Your Majesty, these upstarts are saying they have the right to your throne! No doubt the nobles are already scheming to crown their region's preferred claimant. Warning the monarchs currently have no heir. We've got Honor Guard, the Printing Press, and the Missing Bees! Hmm, we're gonna go with the Missing Bees first, or Honor Guard. Now that you're king, you need personal protection. Why, I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? Please don't hurt me. Ha! I'd like to see you try! Is it your imagination or does your martial stifle a wry chuckle? In any case, she quickly hides it. How's your family doing? And also, what does help with headaches? Uh, sleep, water, coffee, uh, Advil. Um, you need an honor guard to keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. What are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards, the counts with knights of the order of the drowned rose. The patricians with champion gladiators from the arena. Ooh, we're going with the patricians. 
I don't even gotta read the other ones. Tell me about the Eastern Knights, Coastal Raiders. The Patricians are, uh, gold? Mm, the Patricians are the Southern Battle Nuns? Southern Battle Nuns? Terrifying warriors. They've sworn a vow of silence, so at least they won't spill state secrets. But their faith and loyalty is the church above all, even your safety. Oh, Lord, Eastern Knights. The Order of the Drowned Rose are highly respectable. They'll understand palace etiquette, but it's been years since they fought an actual battle. They mostly write poems these days. Great! We're going with the coastal freaking gladiators. Everybody else sucks. Defiance, defiance. There we go. Woo! So it raised the defiance. Patrician's defiance went down. Ooh, this is gonna get interesting. The plot thickens. The gladiators arrive a few weeks later. The men are bare-chested and the women underdressed. Excuse me? Eager to show off their bodies as much as their weaponry. Y'all need some armor! I don't need dead people. I need protectors. They gather behind your throne and begin oiling themselves up. Are you serious? No! Why? Stop oiling yourselves up, you dirty, dirty don't you, no. Or I'm absolutely freaking literally not. I don't want to see your oiled butt anywhere near my throne. Get out of here. Wow, okay. The missing bees. Ah, your grace. Terrible news from the east. The bees have vanished. Excellent. You can have outdoor picnics in peace. But my breakfast, honey! I fear it has wider implications than your breakfast, your majesty. We counts rely on the bees for our honey trade. Um, is my microphone peeking at all? I just realized I have done a thing. Uh, a road... Road thingy mabuba uh, enter effects edit mode test one two uh let's go like these test 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 testies test there we go okay <sighs> mic is good this is how you'd speak if you lived in medieval times yeah of course I fear yeah honey trade got it but worse, in the East, bees that bring us of good fortune. We look after them, and they look after us. It's a grim omen indeed, if they've deserted us. Our peasants are scared that we've offended the bees somehow. We must track them down. How about you suck a bag of horse dongs? Cause you need trade. Send messages to investigate the other regions. I need... Stability. No, I need authority. Alright, so this... This reduces... Bees come and go. Let nature take its course. <laughs> veto. Monarchs can mark their preferred voting option. Veto. We're gonna veto... This one. I can't believe y'all get to vote on this. This is horse dookie. Bees come and go, let nature take their course. That's the one I want. We don't want the purple people eaters to win. I swear to God, if y'all let the purple people eaters win, I will. Be, I can see all of your names. Who is this? <gasps> oh, look at all the purple. They're uniting. Yes. Yes. Come on, baby. Hell yeah, I've got some allies. Let's go. Nobody wants purple to win. Voting has closed. Bees come and go, let nature take its course. <laughs> Wait! Wait, purple went down, right? As the Eastern beehives languish empty. Eastern peasants start sewing bee emblems onto their shirts in vain effort to bring them back. <laughs> oh no! 
No! No! No! No! It helped the South and the East! Oh, I hate this! Museum! What it do, party people? What it do indeed. Oh, son of a biscuit eating pirate! <sighs> Still, other nobles profit from the situation. The counts had quite the monopoly on honey, and this has given them the chance to get in on the market. Fear grows more and more amongst the counts who complain that the crown cares nothing for their troubles. God dang it. I only helped the Patricia. It's gonna be so hard to take them down. Lord hath mercy. Oh, the printing press. Your Highness, a blacksmith in the south has come up with some sort of printing contraption. Instead of relying on the painstaking efforts of scribes, it produces a hundred copies of a text in an hour. Sounds remarkable. Verily, Your Highness, isn't technology wonderful? Don't you see how dangerous this is? Oh, this is Lady Patrician Sammy. Sammy, what you doing out here? The books should stay in churches and universities, or else commoners will start getting ideas. Ooh, some choices have certain outcomes called challenges. These are either, ooh, allow the printing press to be used by the masses. This gives increased trade, decreased authority, which I need stability and authority. Oh, Lord. Only the church may use the printing press. This gives increased faith. <gasps> Forbid the use of printing presses altogether. 35% authority? <clears throat> I'm ready to be oiled. Excuse me. <laughs> no, no more oiling. I swear to God, allow the printing presses to be used by the masses? No, absolutely not. Somebody. Wow. Collusion. Absolute freaking collusion. This is a pile of horse dongs. Oh my God, Freya, thank you for voting on the one I wanted. Stamp stamp, it seems good so far. <sighs> Allow printing presses to be used by the masses. Divines is now cordial. You're going to regret this one day. You oh, this is Sammy. Your August Majesty. Ignorance is the only thing keeping the common folk in line. That's kind of true, though. Nonsense, you're just jealous. In the end, oh my god, the patricians got so high trade now. Both are right. The coast develops a thriving publishing industry, but as more and more books are printed, radical ideas start to spread. Ideas like maybe peasants deserve rights and should be, <laughs> should we even have a king at all? God dang it. Y'all are going to usurp my throne. I don't appreciate this at all. Oh, wait, what's this? This is done through an auction. Ooh, where only two, the two most funded buildings are chosen. When an auction is open, nobles can fund through the browser in increments of 100. I have nothing that increases stability or authority. Are you serious? The richest nobles. Look at these people. Wait, y'all get to do this now? Start in the auction. Nobles use their personal wealth to bid on buildings, and only the two highest funded will be built. Use the pledge button in your browser to bid on the buildings you want. I don't get to do any of this. I just get havoc wreaked on me at all times in this game. This is... All right, y'all get to spend your money all willy-nilly. I swear to God, y'all are building a freaking aqueduct. 
Oh, and purple's reducing my authority? Oh, y'all suck. What about an observatory? Come on, patrician, spend more money. Kaget, you got 900 doll hairs left. Spend more money, spend it right now. Come on, build the observatory. Build it, build the observatory, spend your money. That's right, that's right, you beautiful, majestic bean. Build that observatory. Don't let purple people eaters beat you. <gasps> I swear to God. Oh, God dang it! I'm deeply upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have two authority! <laughs> Nobody loves me! How is this possible? <sighs> okay, a laughing stock. Your Majesty, the acclaimed playwright Montague Chicken Steel has written another smash hit! All the theaters in Capital are showing it nightly. Err, what's the problem? The problem is that the new play features a character obviously based on you. An admiring homage? How delightful. You misunderstand me, your highness. The character is played by a professional clown named Beffo. Squ All right, we're killing Beffo. At one point, a bucket of custard is appended over his head as he sits on a throne. Did he just get bukkakied? Your Highness, the peasants and nobles alike are watching this play, and theaters are packed. You must put a stop to it. You simply cannot be known as King Beffo. Put out a warrant for Montague Chickensteel's arrest. Yep. Two days later, Montague Chickensteel is brought before you in chains. He's shivering in his little pointy boots. We caught up to him as he was boarding a ship to the Republic of Kurth, your highness. Please have mercy. abso freaking loot not! Both of these reduce stability. Ooh, order him to change the role to a heroic one. Oh, we could kill him? You know what? I feel like any of these are probably not going to give us as much authority, but going with the one where he gets to live? Probably better. Yes, of course, I'll rewrite the role immediately. A satire, go. It was a little broad anyway. When the play is- ooh, I got two authority. Yes. When the play is re-released, everyone agrees that it's, uh, that it's lost what made it special. Many of the nobles are furious that you arrested and threatened the great Montague Chicken Steel. Freaking Chicken Steel, man. But at least you dealt with the threat to your authority. Off with his head! Finding a spouse? Mmm. Bow, chick, chick, bow, bow. In the twisty passage of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master, but there's one person you can't avoid, your mother. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's almost been a year. But mother, I don't want to get married. I've been busy. You'd better find the time. Don't worry, I'll make the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference, men? Women? Or do you not mind? I'm not interested in love, any. Excellent, I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. Am I playing a lady? I am playing whatever floats my boat. A stinging problem. You only stop my babies. Having ignored the bees' trouble in the east, you've practically forgotten about the situation. Oh! Until Grandy Man of Steel stamps in. It's like noble tinder. <laughs> kind of. Face swollen, covered with stings. Darn those counts! 
I bet they sent those bees of there just to trouble us. I did wonder what was going on with your face. Yes, it's terrible. By the ninth, these bees must be destroyed. No one dares to go outside. Our markets are ruined. Seventh, take us. These bees are our livelihood. If they're killed, they'll bring bad luck to all of us. Then you should have taken better care of them, shouldn't you? But of course. Okay, so focus on luring the bees back to the east. This does a thing with defiance, evens defiance, but reduces farming. Mm. I'm gonna save my available stuff and we'll see what see what y'all pick. What y'all got? What's gonna happen here? Are they gonna team up? What choices will be made by our nobles to do? We've got Luna wanting the church to help Freya, Sarah. Hmm, him, eh? I kind of want to know what the dice roll thing is, too. Y'all are intriguing me. We need more of that action up in here. Like, what does the church do in the game? You know? Oh, get in the church! It's a crusade! Time to hang and murder people! That's what the church does back in the olden times. Grandy Man of Steel looks pleased and bows, hurrying away to summon some priests. Not every priest is happy about the risk of stinging, but enough attend to the peasants to get them in better shape for work. Soon, the markets have returned to normal. So faith challenge succeeded, so we've got faith on all sides for the orange people. Hmm. Okay. Man, I, there's no way I'm winning this. I have no way to reduce anything. You may collect a common tax or get a specific region. Ooh. Taxing a region will increase their defiance stat and decrease noble wealth. Mmm. Piece of candy. The patricians make 500 wealth selling snake oil that they claimed cures scrofula. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. Ooh. Uh, did I do it? Oh no! I wanted to read the rest. I didn't mean to tax the grandees. The frickin' green people have the most money! No! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There will be reparations, I promise. I didn't know clicking it was gonna do that. Right, look, 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 look. We'll take down the green people a peg right now. They need to be taken down. Look how ahead the green people are. This is unfreaking acceptable. So right now, the orange and the purple need to come together to take down the green people a small bit. If you do not do this, you're gonna lose. You have to do it. A giant glass globe filled to the brim with murky water is weird before the council. The fishbowl contains Lady Patricia blah, suspended in liquid. She pokes her head above the surface. Your esteemed highness, glub glub, and most infuriating circumstances have befallen me, glub glub. Good grief, what happened to you? I've been glub glub cursed by a sea wizard. He inflicted with me his gills. I can't leave the water for more than a couple of minutes. What do you do to anger the wizard? You aren't the boss of us, right? Excuse me, ma'am. But I am. I happen to own a tannery that is <laughs> polluting some picturesque beaches he likes. How was I supposed to <laughs> No, I demand your arrest. This maniac can force him to <laughs> remove these girls. Hmm. So send a squad of coastal soldiers to arrest the wizards responsible, or send a diplomat to politely ask the wizard to reverse the curse, or close down Lady Patricia's tannery. 
justice lowers wealth. Defiance, or this increases defiance, so they want to go to war with me, but it lowers their wealth and trade, which you need to do to take the green people down. So I'm going to tell you right now, y'all better choose this one, or the green people are going to green people all over the place. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Don't let the green people succeed. You just went after innocent yellow? I did not mean to. It was an accident. Consider it my one year mistake, okay? There we go. There we freaking go. We gotta take them down a little bit. Defiance has gone up. Money has gone up. Gone down quite a bit. After your soldiers close down the tannery and destroy its vats, the nearby beach returns to its former beauty and Lady Harbour recovers from her curse. And there we go, and we reduce the trade by one as well. Perfect. Back to her old self, though she has a case of the hiccups that persists for several months. Oh no. Off with his head, send the bees ex- <laughs> Ara, screw you! Wow! Dealing with the swarm. All right. I have promised to help the orange people, but we must in exchange for helping the orange people take down the green people one more time. We got to get it closer. They're way too far ahead. This is unacceptable for anybody. Unfreaking acceptable. Your Majesty, some good news from the South about that bee problem. This is Man of Steel. The, pro the, the priests have been making up herbal ointments for treating stings, and they think they've discovered some new anti-venom that's even more effective. But if we don't have enough to test it properly. Ooh. Okay, so Crown will financially contribute to your research. I swear to freaking God. The Southern Church is on its own for this one, which is 100% true. The church already is tax-free. The church can pay for their own stuff instead of lining the pockets of all the church freaking leaders. The Pope doesn't need more money. The people do. No more bee talk. You know what? I'm going to veto this one right here. <laughs> Save the bees! No more bee talk! No! No! Send the church! What are you doing? Who the- What? Tax the church! What are you doing? No! I swear to God. Did I just lose? Mm -hmm. My God, Defiance is now insolent. What? The grandees mutter grumbly among themselves, but they have enough to deal with to complain. The bee swarms are still going strong and the priests have villages to heal. You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> Eligible options. Send me a baby maker. I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. A partner for life to have and to hold, don't forget. I suppose so, but the alliance comes first. Your mother leads you to the Great Hall, where she arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. Wait, I don't get to meet them? <laughs> There's no time for sentiment. You just need to match that befits your station and suits your political needs. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Irvin, the eldest son of Eastern Gabriel Dynasty. 
Forgive the snooty expression, but I'm sure that's caused by an errant brushstroke. He had a laboratory installed in his castle and spends most of his time there conducting bizarre experiments. He did have to suppress a peasant revolt on his land recently. I wonder why. From the coast, we have Dominica, the wealthy heir to Lord Patrician Cupcake Three Ninjas Estate. They weren't originally the heir, but their eldest brother had an uncomfortable accident. Unfortunate accident? They were... Uh, they recently gave away half their fortune to the church. Much to everyone's surprise, the common folk hate them for some reason, but who cares what they think? Could be worse, but could be a lot better. My brother. I still owe the South. The South just screwed me. Screw the South. I do owe them, though. Finally, from the South, Ada, the eldest daughter of her lineage of Hime lineage, famed for her wit, her style, and, as you can see, her good looks. She spends most of her time in the library, face buried in some book of ancient history. She's tried her hand at a number of ventures, though they all seem to end in disaster. That doesn't sound good at all. Not bad, not bad at all. So far... So far, I'm going to repay the South. I promised. She gives me nothing of benefit, though. I'm going to do it. I promised the South I would help. Defiance is now aloof, insolent, and aggrieved. <laughs> she fails at everything, but there's no other negative to it. Ooh, here you can adopt a new law that alters how voting is run. You can only adopt one new law at a time and have a maximum of three laws to use. Ooh, Royal Gamble. Plus 500 treasury if the nobles vote for the selection selected option. If the nobles vote otherwise, whoa! Mm. Ooh, there's swing votes. After voting, nobles can change their minds and vote for a different option. Now, nobles choose to vote is hidden from view from the monarch's view. Screw that! We'll, we'll enable swing votes. Tag is Gaston. Screw you! Ooh, Tith's trouble. All right, we need to bring the green people down again. Do we have an option to bring the green people down? I need a drink. One of my professors is a hard grader. It's either a zero or a hundred. Stab him in the face. Your Highness, I've come to submit a complaint about the Counts of the East. Lately, they've been neglecting their tithes. I am not a debt collector. Screw the church. Who do you think? You've got a golden freaking staff, and this money's going to your god? Eat a bag of godly dicks. <laughs> Especially if I tell them the priests to spread word that you refuse to help a holy man in need. Go away, you irritating old fart. Man, this reduces all of my stuff. The church holds too much sway. The worst offender is Count Lurker Incognitus. Where are you, Lurker? He hasn't paid his tithe in years. I want an example to be made of him. <laughs> oh, ooh, wait. Wow, this screws me on every side, or does it screw the purple people? Mm. Swing votes. I don't see a beneficial option. Screw the freaking church. God dang it. Jesse, what it do, girl? Hope you and the fam are doing well. The counts should be exempt from paying their tithes. I swear to God, the counts, no. No, you dirty little purple people eaters. I swear to God, don't you freaking dare 
Don't you freaking dare! Pay your taxes! Order the counts to pay their tithes in full. Are you serious? You church dungeon mother! I get money though? Question mark? Defiance is now grumbling. Some count's wealth has increased and faith is now agnostic. <laughs> but the rest of us have have to keep paying tithes to the church. Why are the cute counts so special? Oh, that little crown might make you think you're more powerful than the church, your majesty, but I would prove the folly of your arrogance. Wait and see! I need my money! Freaking church. Jesus Christ. The archbishop soon- I bet he's gonna go touch a child right now. Like, right when he leaves. Being honest, your wedding to Ada is, naturally, the talk of the kingdom. And nobles and peasants alike travel across the realm to attend. <laughs> For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. Don't say that. What? Don't say the truth? It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bernard's Cathedral with Ada at your side. <laughs> uh, do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? Stability and authority. Mm. Then I pronounce you king and wife. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. Your new wife Ada laps up the attention, delivering a witty speech in such flat as you outrageously. Hmm. By the time you find yourself alone with Ada, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. You danced so beautifully. It was such a wonderful day, wasn't it? Uh, admit that your heart wasn't in it. No, agree with her. You endure a long conversation. Endure. <laughs> in which Ada seems determined to flatter you relentlessly and agree with everything you say. That sounds terrible. I would endure that. By night's end, you still don't know who Ada really is. Her real personality is concealed beneath a hundred layers of etiquette. You go to your separate bedchambers. Still strangers. Wait, back in the olden days, they had to watch... <laughs> this is how messed up so <laughs> somebody from the church used to have to watch you you know um, which means just a bunch of perverts in the church um, anyways <laughs> that's a rule back in the olden times mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A tasty innovation. I don't mean to exaggerate, your majesty, but I believe I have pioneered the most incredible invention in the history of mankind. I was hosting a small party, playing cards with some old friends. I called for a servant to bring me something to eat that was both tasty and convenient. As my hands were occupied, what my servant brought to me that evening will change the world forever, your majesty. It sounds like your servant invented it. Uh, verily, and he's, em he's my employee, so I own the idea, it's only fair. Welcome to how the world works. Never invent something when you're working for another company that can sue you, by the way. Because if you do any of that work on that company's time, they can steal it. Behold! 
They hold in the air a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Atop the plate are two slices of bread with a piece of meat wedged between them. They invented the Sammy. It allows the hungry noble to consume two slices of bread plus meat all at once, saving valuable time. The greatest invention ever made, the sandwich. Meanwhile, the bread serves as an impregnable barrier, preventing one's hands from being besmirched by meat juices. In freaking breathtaking. Naturally, since this is my invention, I propose we name it after me. In a few years' time, I expect everyone to be enjoying a nice hermit for lunch. But naturally, this innovation cannot be made available for free. Every time a hermit is consumed, I expect a small royalty payment. Burn this person to the ground right now. Burn them to the ground. Wow, that gives them a lot of wealth. Lowers trade. The servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? We can afford... The South. We just married the South. We have to screw over the South. Um, I'm going to veto this one. Have fun with the rest. Now, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare! Take the sandwich and take all the credit. I like that idea. So what do you all think about this game? What's your thoughts? What's in that brain space of yours? <clears throat> the servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? <laughs> By the ninth, he wouldn't have invented this snack if I hadn't specifically requested a convenient meal. Despite Grandy Hermit's prosta, <laughs> the servant is brought before you. Um, hello, your majesty. Most people call me Footlong. <laughs> Due to my <laughs> large feet. Mm. Five down the foot long. Foot long. I like the sound of that. I prefer calling it a hermit. We can't call it that. We'll name it something boring. Nope, we're calling it the foot long. It is decided. Henceforth, this innovative dish shall be known as the foot long. Oh, dang. That increases their trade a lot. I'm gonna lose hard. Give me a baby. The prophesized ninth herald has finally manifested on Celeste, <laughs> taking the form of a humble noble known as Sabino, who hails from a farming town in the southern hills, or so the grandees claim. <laughs> Peasants all over the south are flocking to you, Sabino. I knew you could do it. Welcome to the church, where lies flourish and lords are made. The plentiful crops have been a significant boon to our economy. No, that's what I call a miracle. Oh my god. Praise be. But this is just the beginning. With him on our side, we will capture the minds of the common folk and lead a holy crusade against the false king. The people still need a push, however. With just the right amount of chaos, the peasants will take up arms and die for you. For the next stage of their scheme, the grandees must lower stability to four or less in two seasons. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Late at night, two counts meet in an ancient stone cemetery to discuss their schemes against the king. Our grain stores are looking decidedly mediocre. 
we need to stock up so that the famine so that when the famine comes we can outlast the others the council aimed as to, ha to have the highest farming uh, good luck in a dingy seaside tavern two patricians on the coast meet to plot their latest scheme we've got lady nip blade the coast economy has never been better we're making more money than i ever know what to do with money breeds money we got amanda i've made a series of investments to improve our parfits even more but what do we do with the rest of this gold time to start buying things of course land roads bridges we'll buy up the whole kingdom piece by piece but first the king must be in desperate need of our gold to advance this scheme, the Pagician <laughs> must lower the treasury to 1,500 or less in two seasons. Not gonna freaking happen. Ah, oh, freaking Sabino at level two already. This is hard. This is really freaking hard for me to win this. This is nuts. This is fun. I'm enjoying watching this. Y'all are screwing me hard. <laughs> it's been so long since I've got alive, but happy to be back. Baby Quesalupa is thriving, almost two years old. Jackie, I hope you and baby Quesalupa are having a wonderful day. Glad to see you back. Man, time just freaking flies by, doesn't it? What happens if you lose? One of you becomes king or queen. A coastal gladiator named Onyx has become remarkably popular in the arena. Yes, I've heard. He threw a whole ox across the stadium. He's throwing even bigger words around these days. In his last match, he donned a crown and claimed he would be a better monarch than you would ever be. It's all a joke for now, but it's still seditious, and he has a significant following. He or the other gladiators, or even the patricians at large, may decide to take this further. Depths below! When does the king have a say in what happens in our arenas? Hmm. This gladiator will be stamped out if I have anything to say about it. Jatina. Oh, Jatina and her friends grumble and mutter amongst themselves. <laughs> but it all comes down to the council's decision. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Arrange an accident for Onyx. Uh, have the king's gladiator's bodyguards fight Onyx. Woo! Leave Onyx to fight however he pleases. Both of these are relatively good options for me. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Hold up here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Listen. Hold on. If. Hmm. So we need both purple and green need to take down the grandees a little bit, right? Because the grandees are one away from winning, right? Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. They are literally one away from winning. So, if purple and green help me in this, I will help you both in the future, okay? So, my... Monarch's choice would. I want to reduce defiance and increase stability. So have the king's gladiators bodyguards fight Onyx. Oh my god, green wants to reduce my money. Purple, come on, purple. Purple and green. Oh, y'all suck. Come on. No. <gasps> Betrayal of the highest order. Are you serious? Wow. 
What? Screw each and every one of you, little green and orange or yellow bastards. Okay. Okay. You have the spy mash to make a few discreet arrangements. A few weeks later, she returns. Onyx lasts about and go well, I fear. He had a bizarre accident with a trident. I'll spare you the deed sales. Ooh! Please do it. Do I've only just had breakfast? No, I want the details. The spy master informs you that the trident was the least of Onyx's concerns. This unfortunate event involved oil in the sand, a weak point in a helmet, a copper net, and a pair of wild horses. That's the career of an athlete for you. You won't need to worry any further. Okay, that wasn't bad. I still gained authority. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Tag, I want stability, chat. Did you mean chaos? Brian, what it do? All right. Uh, tis but a humble request. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have a proposition. What do you need? I'm writing a religious treaty on the nature of the Ninth God. I have a feeling it will be very popular down the south. There's a new machine that can print hundreds of copies of the book at certain once. It's called the printing press. Do not give the printing press to the church. Biblies will be everywhere. And then you'll have people burned at the stake. There'll be all sorts of horrible things happen. I was hoping that you could fund the process, then my book could be sold all over the South. Maybe even the whole kingdom. I'm sorry, but I don't have the money to spare. Waste the kingdom's gold on your vanity project? I don't think so. A thousand gold should be enough, I assume. Apps a freaking lootly not. Take 500 gold then, or take as much as you like, my love? Ha! Absolutely not. In the following weeks, Ada continues to write her book without your help. But, is it, but its impact is minimal. It sees a very subdued release and makes practically no money. Oh no, that was my waifu, I forgot. <laughs> Whoops, kind of needed that to be a thing. Oh boy, I should have spent some money. Because there ain't going to be no babies made now. Where's my next quest? I don't see it. Where's the sun? Oh, there it is. A new trend. Lady Patrician Luna is here to see you, Your Majesty. She wants to sell you uh, a crab. <laughs> of course she does. It's the latest trend along the coast, Your Majesty. Luna's got crab. <laughs> <laughs> the patricians have started keeping a species of jeweled crab as a fashionable pet. The creatures are so rare that one can now sell for as much as a mansion. Okay. Very well. Send her away. Don't waste my time like this again. I don't have any money for this. Buy the box of crabs. <laughs> What a waste of everyone's time. Oh, make a sale of Jude Krabs illegal! <laughs> of course, such a drastic measure will require a vote. You summon the council at once. Do not let the green people sell crabs. Refuse to limit the market. Look. <sighs> Oh. Oh, god dang it. I have to veto my own choice. Because if I go down, then freaking yellow wins. I just want to give everybody crabs. God dang it.
Well, this isn't the most successful stream that we've done so far, but it is intriguing. Plus, everybody's got crabs now. And who doesn't love crabs? Yep, I can't reduce stability. Ah. Uh... Please, give me something good. <sighs> I have to start an auction. Fine. Spend your money, you dirty, motherless goats. <laughs> this is your undoing. Highly unlikely. No, somebody else spend money. I swear to God. No. Oh, come on. Somebody else spend money. Uh, South, I'm married to you. Spend some money. Purple people, I need uh, authority. Build the monument. No. <laughs> no. One or more regions are able to rebel as their defiance stat is higher than both authority and stability. Oh, if the rebels get more victory points than the loyalists, they'll win the game. If the loyalists get more victory points than the rebels, they'll put down the rebellion and continue the game. If multiple regions rebel and win, a vote between the two rebelling regions with the successors, the highest stats to determine the successor. Okay. Important rebelling regions have their own schemes paused. Oh, Christ. Who's rebelling? The freaking green people. Defiance is too high and one more region is considered rebellion. The rebellion will stop. Oh. Oh, oh, they get to vote. Hit the Rebellions tab in your browser to rebel. Oh my god, you guys can choose to rebel. Four needed to start a rebellion? Are you serious? Your marriage to Ada is already a disaster. She can't stand the sight of you. And when you are in the same room, it somehow always ends in an argument and a slammed door. The last thing on your mind is producing an heir, but the needs of the kingdom must prevail. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. Uh, I went about as well as you could. It felt more like a sentence than a wedding. Ah, don't be so dramatic. You've done well so far, but something's still missing an heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. Your child of your own would do the trick. Even if they're a bastard or the youngest of your many cousins. Whoa. Hmm. We're gonna have a child together. Uh, the traditional method, no one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling so you can <laughs> get down to business. Bow, chicka, chicka, bow, bow, making a baby with the South. What? Led by Amanda? Are you serious? Amanda, are you? Oh, I'm gonna find you. As usual, Ada has spent the day in her library, as far away from you as the palace walls allow. But after you've eaten your separate dinners, she strolls in wearing an obviously fake smile. I have endured this so-called marriage as long as I could bear, but I simply can't do it no more. Your majesty, it's time we part ways. I want a divorce. Thank the ninth, we can now stop pretending, but I care about you. What? Why? 
You really don't know. This comes as a complete surprise. Every time we talk, it ends in the same way, with you stamping down everything I wish for. You wanted to print a garbage book! Nobody wants garbage books. You didn't even left a finger to help me with my book when you knew it was important to me. This was never going to work. Oh, but it's over now, for good or ill. I called an archbishop to witness the divorce ceremony. Does the archbishop ever make things less awkward? Oh, not you. Surely you can't support this. Your Majesty, I care about the kingdom and Blah, Ada was very convincing that the kingdom is better without her being married to you. Jay Lynn, I got kicked off the game, but that was freaking fun. Can't wait to see what happens. Oh my god. All right, let's get this done. Your Highness, we can't divorce. I love you. You can't divorce me. I'm divorcing you. We can't divorce. What will the nobles say? How about you can't divorce me because I'm the king and I'll murder you and throw you in a river? You had your chance, thick. What more is there to say? Is there anything that would change your mind? For a second, Ada looks thoughtful. I want real respect. People gossip about me all the time and make my life a misery. I want that stamped out. Screw you! Oh! Divorce be with you is the achievement we just got lot got. Thank the ninth. Screw it. Fine. 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 I'll just lose the game because of you and your stupid book. I'm mad. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall from the tree, I see. Excuse me. I and my fellow grandees worked hard to put a dowry together for poor Ada. Tri tailor her outfit, prepare the feast. Now that marriage is dissolved, I petition the king to refund the cost of the wedding. What? Absolutely not. Five months plus two years lurker. Hello, Fafet. Uh, thank you for always being around. Will you try Builders of China or Egypt when I when release? I have no idea what that is, actually. Hmm. The king will hand nothing over. Oh, let's freaking go. Oh, no, that's a war! Oh, no! Oh, Christ! War, war, war. Oh my god. By the ninth. This is an insult, not just to family, but to all grandies. It's not my fault. You're my <clears throat> As anger grows in the south, you do hear whispers that some believe that you are in the right for standing your ground. Hopefully your supporters will win out. Meanwhile, puts up Ada in her estate, which turns out to be <laughs> a great expense. Who knows what nonsense we'll do next, but it's no longer your problem. That's right. <sighs> Blood money? Oh, I need some money right now. <clears throat> oh, nothing's wrong. Absolutely nothing is wrong in the East. Really, because you're looking at me like you swallowed a wasp. That's definitely not an old witch who lives in the border of my lands, and I definitely haven't been having money troubles. But most importantly, she didn't offer me a fortune exchange to just a drop of my blood, an offer which I absolutely didn't accept. Great stuff, where's my wine? Ever since I didn't accept that witch's bargain, I haven't found myself obeying her every command. I definitely still rule over my estate, not here. Freya! Oh, no. Cat, I hope things go well for you. I wish you the very best. Glad that's clear up. Let's celebrate all this good news with some wine. 
Farming for the purple people? Absolutely. frequently lootly Hang on, I'm starting to think you mean the opposite of what you say. No, your majesty, that's not the case, isn't it? Oh, I guess I was wrong. Let's fetch the court physician to see if I can lift your curse. After a week confined to a cold iron box, with nothing to eat but salt, the magic stops affecting Countess Freya, who feels so strongly. She's even able to talk about her ordeal directly. I always tolerated that bloody witch. She'll sell medicine to the peasants and help them find lost sheep. I never suspected she was capable of something like this. We need to call a vote. Send in the regiment to take back my stolen lands. Next, thank you for the 21 months. Ooh. Let's see what happens. Take back Freya of Fool's Land, but let the witch go free. Ooh! Interesting. Intriguing. The plot thickens. Green and yellow coming in hot. Eastern troops arrive at Freya of Fool's estate. They find that the witch has already fled, along with what remained of Freya of Fool's gold. Ah. The peasants have no money of, <laughs> no memory of their time under the witch's rule, but the church, the church has been burned with profane messages scrawled in their walls, dang. And their fields are never again as bountiful as they were under the witch's reign, hell yeah. Let's freaking go. The south swells with devotees from across the kingdom. They've come to see Sabino, the Ninth Herald, in action. Oh my god. In the picturesque town of Tarrabar, the grandee's holy claimant delivers a speech of raucous applause. Two figures stand in an alcove nearby. If our army were strong enough, we could take the palace by force. What? Talon, this Game of Thrones fanfic is more brutal than the original. When do you get dragons? I want to know the same. A crusade? That sounds promising. Ah, yes, totally for Jesus, not for the people who want more money. Though I suggest we leave it up to the ninth god. Surely he will intervene on Sabino's behalf. Surely, surely God will prevent this bloodshed if they don't want it. Oh. Oh, y'all are voting. This isn't God at all. Y'all get to be God now. Okay. I like pancakes. Me too. Pancakes are tasty. Tasty little treats. Ooh, it's a tie. So what happens? <laughs> oh, four nobles voted, but four nobles also voted for not. As the vote is called, cheers erupt in the cramped hall of the Grandee. Oh my God. For the ninth God. <laughs> Nana, are you serious? In hope? Death to the pretender, death to King Thick. For the final stage of this scheme, the grannies must raise their military to at least six. Are you serious? Ugh, okay. Sitting on the bench outside the Sunbleached Villa, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their line of scheme. The thrice cursed king is still refused to sell us any public land. It makes sense the treasure is not exactly suffering right now. Patience, my friend. Let us bide our time until the king's gold runs out. Hmm, not happening, bucko. Not freaking happening. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. If I go with a common tax, I get plus 200. But you know what? Y'all just put a war up against me. Absolutely not. You can't fight a war if you're broker than a dollar store hooker. <whistles> Currently rebelling on the verge of rebellion. Lord, you divorce my daughter. She divorced me. That's not how that works. Because I didn't print a book. Your Majesty, with the kingdom consumed by civil war, the crab fat has died away on its own. The patricians have bigger things to worry about. They've lost a great deal of money as a result. It turns out the crabs may have been a bad investment. But the crabs were the backbone of the coastal economy. <laughs> Not anymore, Your Majesty. Oh no. Oh no! That's all there was! Alright, so we've got a rebellion. At long last, the patricians have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in your throne room by Lady Patrician Marwarwarwa. Her smile gleaming in the light of the braziers. Myatria? Whoa! Oh, the patricians of the coast will bring you down, pretender to the throne. We'll raise up and fight for Justine, the true queen. Wait a second. Hell no! This is a formal declaration of war. Next time we see each other, we'll be on the battlefield. Seize her! One day, I will have your head on a spike. Traitors get the chop. <laughs> what? You can't do this. I'm an envoy. See how the king's tyranny grows worse by the day. Oh no. Your watchman wastes no time. Lady Patrician Maitra is dragged into the courtyard and her head is struck from her shoulders. Ah! I didn't expect them to move so boldly, your majesty. What are the chances against the rebels? Pretty good. The Patricians aren't exactly a military powerhouse. I hope they don't persuade any other regions during the rebellion. That would be disastrous. Oh my god. Is it too... <laughs> The leader of the Brelgrim is Amanda. There's reason for the uprising. She's in our history of pretty transgressions against the patricians. Uh, urged to murder rising. Yes, your majesty. Hold on to that feeling. You'll need it. <laughs> oh, lord. We're going to murder everybody. All right. Uno mas. The opening strike. Do you smell that, my friend? I think I stepped in some poop. That's freedom! You can smell freedom from the mad tyrant king. At long last, we've risen up against his oppressions. But if we want to keep our freedom, we must fight for it. I ask you, my fellow patricians, what would be our opening strike against the king? We can launch a preemptive strike. Oh, screw this! Oh, no, you all get to vote for my death? Oh, screw all of you! What?! Go for it. I freaking dare you. I freaking dare you, green people. <laughs> Call upon McGrandy's. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! The patricians smuggle a secret message to the grandees. Honorable grandees of the South, too long have you suffered under the yoke of the king's tyranny. This war is righteous. Do the noble thing and then join us. She speaks truly. Why did we ever think of things this way? Grandees are emboldened by the call to rebellion, of course. They can only act on if their defiance is high enough. Which it is! Which it freaking is!
Wait, what? How do I... How do I get rid of one? Huh? What? Ah! No! Oh! Oh, treachery! Emily, I hope you're doing well. Oh my god, no! Dire news, your majesty. The South has sent a battalion of their finest soldiers to support the patricians in the field. What does this mean? The Grandees have formally joined the rebellion, declaring you a tyrant. Great. As reason for their uprising, they're citing your past transgressions. Of course! I won't lie, your majesty. The odds are stacked against us now. Great! Vast armies darken the landscape like shadows of clouds. Flags are flying, drums are pounding in rhythm. With the marching of the boots, the kingdom is gripped with civil war. At least, that's what you imagine. Most of your time is spent in the safety of the palace, <laughs> pouring over the giant map with your marshal. Your majesty, the army of the coast is trying to link up with the army of the south. If we take them both at once, we're in real trouble. Our only hope is the counts. Against both armies at once, they'd be outnumbered, but perhaps they can only make the rebel armies surprised by the two joint forces. We have no choice but to strike one before it's too late. Ooh, tell the counts to go after the coastal army first. Yeah. Hopefully, as they're told, God knows treachery can thrive on the battlefield. Oh my God. Come on, purple people eaters. You're gonna lose regardless. You are our only chance. You have higher military. You can win this game, purple people people. You can literally win probably right now. All you have to do is take out the green people. You have higher military. You're good to go. And you've got more food. Oh, screw all of you. I'm gonna murder each and every one of you. I will burn each of your towns to the ground. <sighs> Somebody has to be Switzerland. This is some BS. The whole city holds its breath. You stew in your palace, waiting anxiously for your marshal's return. Finally, she bursts into the throne room. Those darned cowards, cravens, treacherous, yellow-bellied, lily-livered, chicken-hearted bastards. Instead of engaging the enemy, the counts hold their army to hang back and do nothing. They sat pretty in their camps and scratched their asses while the entire coastal army walked on by. I'll have their heads for this. If you win, which now looks less likely. We're defenseless now, your majesty. The armies of the Patricia- Oh my god, we're dead! If we want to see the year's ends, we must build a fortification, stockpile food, and train up citizens' militia. It's time to pray to the ninth. Wow! My dear grandees of the South, thank you for joining us in our war against the tyrant king Thruk! The Ninth God called upon us to join the fight. We saw that your cause was righteous. Of course it is. Now, before you commit your troops, you must decide where to direct your opening strike. Man, if we suspect the Counts may join our cause, we can call them to war. What? You can also call upon the church to condemn the king. Wow. Wow. All right, yellow people. What you got? Look at somebody voting a preemptive strike on the counts. I hope the counts die. Vote to kill the counts. Those dirty, yellow-bellied, liver-eaten. Good, they're all dead. This is what you get. Purple people are dead. The Grandees launch a surprise attack on the east, slashing and burning their way across the fields and farmlands. 
They catch a regiment of the Eastern Army unaware and spring an ambush, slaughtering them to a man. Common folk whisper that the battleground will be stained red for a generation. <whistles> Praise the ninth. Down with the king! The southern soldiers return home in triumph, leaving the east devastated in their wake. Dang! Well, Sabino just won because of that. Wow. A ground-shaking discovery. I have no air. I should have held with a stupid book. The grandies are digging tungled tunnels under our walls. Uh, the troops could boil up from underground anywhere in the city, even under your very throne. Count Hermit. I place bronze bowls of water inside the city walls. Judging by the size of the ripples, we've worked out their tremors are coming from. It's a rough measurement for certain, but we must act now. What would the council have me do? Ooh. Dig counter tunnels and send troops fighting them off. Ooh. Flood the walls with water diverted from the... So why do y'all get to vote on this when I'm the freaking one at war? Is it just purple? Oh, purple gets to choose because purple got screwed over. Flood the tunnels with water diverted from the Treadwater River. That sounds pretty solid. Drown them all. That sounds pretty good. After days of exploratory digging, your tunnels meet up with the southern tunnels and frantically evacuate. And diverted the flow of the tread rod directly into the enemy's tunnels, flushing away their wooden braces, along with their miners. Unfortunately, this caused the tunnel to collapse the tunnel that was under our walls. Oh. A section of our wall partially collapsed in the resulting sinkhole, and hundreds of southern soldiers swarmed in. Great! Ugh. Oh. The grandees and patricians march through the crown lands, pillaging and burning. The roads are heaving with refugees and corpses clog the rivers. Now the capital is surrounded. You stand on the ramparts of your palace, staring at the dismay at the army camp stretching miles outside. All because of bees. Bees and somebody that wanted to write a book. Get down from here, your majesty. If they're getting lucky of the crossbow, is there any hope, Marshal? What are you supposed to do? They look like ants from up here. Yes, well, even ants are terrifying in enough numbers. Uh, we have one hope. The Counts are still out there. No, the Counts suck. They're not going to do anything. Well, now I think we're doomed. As you finish your sentence, an immense trebuchet hurls a ten-ton boulder towards the capital. It crashes into a nearby clock tower, smashing it to smithereens. You'd better get inside. We'll fight for you? No, you won't. Should I die, I ask my crown be passed down to you? The council hall is filled with nervous silence. My child. <laughs> you cement, I have no child. <laughs> I have no child, thick the second. <laughs> Who did I put a baby in? I put a baby in nobody, is what happened. Are y'all building on stuff? What are you doing? What you got? What you doing?
Okay, what's going on here? Freaking Thieves Guild. Thieves Guild. Oh. Ooh, an aqueduct. sun rises on a city in turmoil. The patricians began their assault last night, and since then, you've heard nothing outside of screams and howls. Half the capital is in flames, soldiers rush back and forth, shouting panicked orders. You've seen your marshal since the night before. Perhaps she's already dead. Wow. I'm dead. The royal court is empty except you and your child. Oh no. You wait and stew. Outside, the screams and clashes get louder. Finally, your spy master arrives out of breath, her face stained by smoke and blood. They'll be here any moment. You must saddle your horse and escape the city. I know of a secret passion. No, I'll stand and fight. I will fight and I will die. <laughs> you rush to the stable, saddle your horse, and ride out into the street, sword in hand. A column of hardened coastal soldiers advance down the road. Steel armor gleaming in the crimson light of dawn. Lady Patrician Amanda is in their head, shouting orders. Charge! You kick your spurs into the steed and charge forward. Sword waving. It's beautiful. It's glorious. It will go down in the history books forever. Too bad I didn't let the printing press exist. It's over almost instantly. Aw. What? Someone hurls a spear that slams right through your chest and sticks out the other side. You topple from your horse. A thousand heavy boots march over you, crushing you into paste. What? But for a moment there, you really felt like a king. Wow. What? Viva la Revolution. It's either Sabino or Justine. Rip a freaking Roni is right. Wow. Well, congratulations, Justine, the new monarch. Wow. Thick? King Thick the Baby Kicker? What? Who named me the Baby Kicker? Screw all of you. What? Who named me the Baby Kicker? Screw, you know what? Screw this game. I hate all of you. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Screw each and every one of you. I'm going to bed. I'll see you all on the next one. <laughs>